welcome, welcome. You you guys, I forgot to make my sound check. Please, everyone, tell me if the sound is okay. But meanwhile... Hello, Thalok. Hello, Borador. Hello, Retage. Hi, uh... Oh, wow, you guys talk for a bit. Hello, Cookies. Hello, Duke. Hi, Alex. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Road Roller. Da. Hello, Flavio. Hi, welcome, Pinoa. Hi, Tiberian. Uh, how Amadeo. Welcome. Hola. Hola. Um, hi, Eros. Hi. Seems okay. Um, hello, Ellie. Somewhat. How are you? I know that today you had you had a struggle in the morning getting up and going, doing things. Um, Mao, welcome. Hi. Kawaii Gonjin. Wow. Today I feel like I said hello to a lot of people. That makes me happy. <laughs> hi. How's everyone doing? Okay. It's, uh, her art seems very good for a first look. Um, th we have done this in the previous, I think it took about three streams to go from zero to this. Um, although I did clean up the lines off stream. I, I, I didn't clean up the lines uh, on the stream. I cleaned it up, you know, uh, off stream. <laughs> I, I don't know if I should be finding synonyms for those. Um, hello, miss. Good to hear you. And good to have you. Um, so we decided, and by we decided, I mean you guys seem to be interested in seeing the whole process, including something like the coloring. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, Alicia, when are you gonna play Minecraft again? I don't know. I'm not sure. Because right now we're gonna have a few weeks of no Minecraft. Uh, because of reasons I have, like, organized everything. Um, probably... Probably mid-February? Probably. Uh, I'm a snuggle in your tail. I was standing outside in the cold for almost an hour. I know! Is it because of... Uh, I don't... I don't remember if you answered. Is it because of the uh, the fire that happened in the school? I'm assuming nobody got hurt. I hope nobody got hurt. So anyways, what we're gonna do today is paint this thing. And I'm assuming we're gonna paint all of it, actually. So let me show you. We still have the lines separated. This helps me personally quite a bit um, because sometimes I do want to color the lines to make the drawing look softer and more like cohesive. So I still have all of the of the layers that you saw me decide how to do and it's all separated. Okay, so those are the lines. Clean lines. Then what I do is a layer of color underneath. Right, first of all, I'm gonna delete this from the layer of color. And now, if we take the color out, that is one huge block of color. I do this when I don't have any transparency on the drawing, because that means all can have... Everything can have one tiny little, like, base, just in case any mistakes happen. The base helps catch them and not, like, it doesn't look jarring if there was um, some mistake in the coloring. It was a small fire, so they put it up pretty quickly. That's nice to know. Uh, but right now the lights are flickering. Talok, yes, uh, Cookies had a fire in school, right? You said it was in school? Uh, but apparently it wasn't bad, it was just a little fire. Cat socks, yes, that is the design of Mim. This is Mim. This is Mim. She is a, a fellow VTuber from here on YouTube. It's me, my Watcher Monster Hunter story streams. That is she, that is she. Um, listen, me and our VTuber half sisters. We are, we both got a pixel model made by the same papa. Um, I don't remember if, if hers was a surprise. For me, it was just a surprise. He was just like, yeah, I made you, I made you this, uh, this pixel thing. And I was like, oh my god, that is so cute. But I wasn't expecting it. And he was like, no, I just like doing them. Okay, anyways, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a color palette thingy. Um, I try not to use color palettes when I'm making up a drawing by myself. Like when I, I am myself making a drawing. But when I am using, like, when I am doing someone else's character, I try to use a color palette I dropped just to make sure that I don't stray too far 
because I will be making some changes to this palette, but I do want to keep it um, pretty like close to the original source. So what I'm gonna do is grab a couple of colors from everywhere. And these colors are not super exact, of course, because I can see there are some gradients and stuff. But just having a little bit of a guide is good. All right, is this blue different? We're gonna unify it. We're gonna unify that blue. How about this pinks? Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of different pinks. It's fine. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna grab this for the purple. And then this is a paler pink. Oh, wow, it looks more like lavender. Huh, curious. Hi, Ellie. Hello, Setsuna. How are you doing? Uh, she's adorable just like you, Liz. Aw, you should tell her that. Um, uh, that sucks. I remember when my house burned down when I came home from fourth grade. We had to live at my grandmother's for a year. I am so sorry that happened. Oh my god, the shorts have a different color, too. Oh boy, this is... This is a lot of colors. We're gonna unify a lot of these. We're gonna unify a lot of this. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be unifying quite quite a few of this. Just as a general rule, I try not to have too many colors um, on any given drawing, because like for the eye, it is better to have something a bit more cohesive. So I'm gonna do this. Is another thing that I do. Actually, I don't need to do. Another thing that I do to help me is use a very ugly green background. Because that helps me spot spot any mistakes. And that helps me watch the, see all the, the white colors. Okay, so... We are going to start with... I think we're going to start with redoing the palette a little bit. This probably isn't that cool for most of you guys, but I was standing on setting 4 degree weather with pretty strong wings. I'm assuming you mean 4 degree as in Celsius, which is freaking cold. Me writing down notes and at least hidden drawing techniques. <laughs> this game suggestion. Uh, if you have lame suggestions, do leave them on Twitter or on the server because it's really hard for me to track down the uh, suggestions that happen on chat. So my fingers feel like Thanos snapped them away. <laughs> I'm good. I have two jobs now and only have Wednesday off from both of them. I hope at least those, like, it gives you the stability you wanted to have, economically wise. I hope the jobs are good or at least not bad. Um, I hope you can enjoy them. There is enjoy almost any job. I hope you can enjoy them. What do I want to unify from here? Because this is a lot. This is a lot. I don't think I can unify. We're gonna unify... We're gonna delete this one, for starters. We're gonna make all of this, 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 and the paws and the skirts kind of like the same thing. We're going to work a little bit with the hair, because I don't like hair having such low um, contrast. I want to have like... A bit more saturation on the red of the hair and then for shadows we're gonna saturate it a little bit more we're gonna do that for shadows this is supposed to be this pink but we're gonna saturate it a little bit more once again maybe make it even lighter just so that there is a contrast, because it's supposed to contrast with that. So maybe something like this. And then... Yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough. We'll figure out the rest as we go. We'll figure out the rest as we go. This is not her official, official art. Astroman, hello, welcome! Hi! I remember when my high school caught on fire with the students inside, but everyone got out alive, but one kid got burned badly. That is very 
That is very bad to hear. I really, really hope that doesn't that wasn't the case with you, cookies. Also, I did wake up pretty damn early, but for some reason I don't feel tired. Well, sometimes, you know, sometimes your your body needs to, the, the day to have hit a specific point. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is just select... Uh... Next thing I'm gonna do today, today is another kind of like tutorial-ish day. We're gonna select all of the hair. And I guess also the ears. I think the ears I want to paint separately. I think the ears I want to paint separately. It's gonna be easier. Of course, every time we select, we delete the selection. One or two at least. We're gonna do three. My lines are pretty thick, so we can take three. And just in case, I go in and select all of these little peaks here. Because selection tool is pretty bad at selecting all of these little peaks where they happen. This is a part of the, the, the painting process where I try to make sure not to make any mistakes because uh, they are bothersome. I mean, they're not hard to fix later, but if I don't make any mistakes on this part, then the rest of it is a lot easier to handle. It's a lot faster and a lot less annoying. Thankfully, my lines are thick, and I can just be a little bit clumsy with this. Just like that. Because I am impatient. You, you guys know. You guys, I've said it. I've said it enough times that I'm really an impatient person. Um, at least I go woke up by an explosion in my town. It's one of a, a only a small one, but it woke me up, and I have fear. Well, I really hope nothing happened. Have you checked up with your, like, local news stations to see what it was? Maybe it was, like, in a very isolated place and it's nothing to, to be afraid of. Oh, see, I have missed that. That is also hair. That is definitely hair. Okay. I think that's... I think that's good. That seems to have covered it all. Um, now this is the part where a lot of people will not agree with me. And it's how I handle my um, amount of layers. <laughs> but I'm trans, hi Alicia, I just know you're drawing and it's neat. Uh, hello Baron or trans or... You know, Byron Trans. I can't, I wouldn't call you Byron. Welcome, how are you doing? Um, yes, I am drawing Mim. By the way, I'm going to change the lines into black. Because right now they could be a little bit bothersome if I don't. Since we're going to be using a color palette that is very similar to that. But I think that's looking nice. I think that's looking nice. Now... I personally like having one layer per... How do I explain this? So, I like being pretty rough with some parts of my shading. So I tend to divide by big blocks of color that I don't want to have to be too detailed on. For example, the hoodie is going to have... Like, if I were to show you when I'm where I'm planning the the shades, right? This is going to have a different kind of like shadow needs than let's say the hair. So that's why I would paint them in different layers. But also I might want to paint the hoodie separately from this arm for example. Eh, eh no I don't need to. I don't need to, actually. Because if I paint the hoodie first, I can just erase anything I do on the arm. I can I can handle it that way. So I'm gonna do all the hoodie on the same spot. Another thing that I tend to do that a lot of people would be like, oh my god, why are you doing that? That is so much work for no reason. Um, if uh, I keep all my colors separate, because 
Here's, here's a very important art tip that I think not enough people take advantage of. Painting with actual, like painting shadows with actual colors instead of with black and white. It changes drawing just so much. It changes your art absolutely for the better. In a way that is, you, you literally cannot give it enough credit. Changing how you choose the colors for the shadows. Where did I put this? Where did I put that? Oh, it's the selection tool. I'll fix it in a bit. I think I also want to change this color. It's too bright. I think I'm gonna desaturate it a little bit. I think that's better. Um. Yes, yeah, so they said it was a gas pipe going kaboom, but it was not fire, it was a water explosion. Well, it should be looked into so that nothing else would happen. You 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 should you probably don't need to worry about it because after one explosion they are probably going to up the like security checkups. Damn, I just woke up from my sister's cat calling my face. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hi, Ellie. Also, Borjor, my man, and Thala. Yeah, you can call me Baron. Yeah, I will call you Baron. Thank you. Uh, by the way, locking layer opacity is a game changer. It is. Um, making shadows with color is a good technique. I think it changes everything. I still don't like this color. I'm going to go back to the drawing board with this specific color in the palette because I also still don't quite like it. It's not locked. Why is it not? Oh, right. What we have right now is this. I don't quite like it. I think I want to desaturate it and make it a bit darker. And I think that might look a bit better. Yeah, I like it a little bit more like that. Now for the... The edges of the hoodie? I don't know if this has a special name. Oh, holy! I'm missing one here. Am I not? This should have another line. Should it not? Because right here should have another another edge. Why is it no painting? Because I locked it. I locked the opacity. That is fine. Like that is important, right? That should that should be a thing. That is. That exists in this audience. And that should be fine. Which means I would rather use the fill color to make sure that all the fill is painted. Okay. There we go. We can keep going with the normal with the normal process now. Now that we know it is. This is gonna be the second part of the hoodie, the second layer for the hoodie, which is going to be like the uh I'm gonna call it hoodie inside, although not all of it is just the inside of the hoodie. Professional artists tremble on my organization. Not because it's good, but because it's such a mess. But it doesn't matter. It works for me. Um, speaking of painting, Alicia, I'm gonna get into figures, figure repaints. That is nice. Sounds very nice. I, I would like to be into figure repainting, but I think it would be very hard to actually get both figures and painting uh, resources in my area. Wait, materials. There we go. Hoodie inside yeah that's looking good that's looking good now we're gonna do one for the shirt I'm gonna do one for the shirt 
Hmm, okay. So another thing that I, I try to do to make sure that I don't have one million different layers is if these are not interacting at all, I can layer them together. For example, the shirt is not interacting whatsoever at any given point with the ears. I could paint them all together and with the tail. So that way I don't have to worry about all of those being three different layers. It does make it a little bit more complicated when I'm painting to actually remember where is everything. But overall, I do prefer it. Let's go in to make sure that we're not missing any little peaks that the auto tool is pretty bad at selecting. Like this. Oh, that's supposed to be black, actually. This is supposed to be black. So that's going to be with the socks. We're going to do all of the black stuff on the same place. Uh, what D&D? You, you, you guys are talking about d and I'm gonna repaint my skull crawler figure and transform it into either... Can you wish me luck so that it not doesn't come mess up? Good luck! But also, don't worry if you mess it up. Remember that art is a process and we do not get better without making a little... a, a couple of messes. We don't get better without first doing things that we don't like. The only process towards the only uh, path towards being good at something is not being as good as you would like to be at something. It's always important to remember that. All right, uh, this is going to be shirt plus red. Does it make sense as a name? Of course it doesn't. But do we will remember what it is. I think so. I think we're not gonna have any issues remembering. I think it's gonna be fine. Now since we realize that we have one layer for black, that we're gonna need one layer for black stuff, we're gonna do... Oh, I can erase this color! I can erase this color because I'm not gonna need it at all! That makes me happy. That makes me happy. This one can go. We're not gonna need that. We're not, we're not able to see her safety shorts anyway, so we're not gonna need that. One less layer. Beautiful. Now, where were we? Oh, black. We were on the black layer, which is going to be the socks and the shirt. And now you guys can see why it takes me so long to do any given piece of drawings, basically. <laughs> Just want to see the line art on the skirt is so good. Thank you, it took me so long. It took me so long to clear out. I remember seven years ago, I went to my cousin's house and it was like nearly zero degrees and we ended up getting ice cream from an ice cream truck and we went outside. You are insane. That is insane. If it was zero degrees, you could not catch me even looking at ice cream. You couldn't catch me in the vicinity of ice cream if it was freaking zero degrees outside. You can barely catch me in the vicinity of ice cream when it's hot outside. It's not that I don't like ice cream, I just don't like it enough to justify uh, buying it. And my favorite ice cream is water-based ice cream, which apparently it's some sort of blasphemy according to everyone I know who thinks water-based ice cream is kind of disgusting. I don't get it. In my opinion, it's the best kind of ice cream, but whatever. You know, everyone has their tastes. It's not my fault some people are wrong. Why is this not painting? Oh, because I selected the color wrong. Okay, there we go. Actually, hmm. I might need to be, I either need to select all of this, including the lines, or I need to make it even, even um, more desaturated as the black because it's eating up into the drawing a little bit. Oh, but the line should be white anyways. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine because this line should be white. It's gonna happen later. 
Do Lamias hibernate in the cool the climate winters? No, we don't because uh, you know our humans have don't get that kind of uh, social allowance. <laughs> we still have to function. Um, just want to say the honor. Thank you. Hola, it's me, your sister. Yay! Hello, honor. How are you doing? Yes, it is me. We're finishing her today. Ah. Uh, Hey, Ellie, that looks amazing. Hello, Chip, how are you doing? Hi! I remember being out when it was minus 22 and I was walking in uh, with only my swim trucks. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you ever do that? Now we should select the skirt, but the skirt is actually... It's, it has so many lines that it's gonna be quicker if I just select it by hand. Because drawing... Uh, like, using the select tool by lines would be... A pain. It wouldn't be impossible, but it would be way slower than just. I mean, not way slower, way more annoying than just going in with the brush. Like, just going in with the brush, I can do all of these. Whereas with the selection tool, I would have to. <laughs> I would have to click at least, a, I don't know, 40 times just for it to get stuck on all the little edges and peaks it would not be funny oh i could have that would have been easier i could have uh, selected everything in like a like a general way and then deselected the outline that would have been so much easier i'm dumb i'm not used to ruffles that's the thing i'm, I, I'm still struggling with ruffles on my day-to-day -day life Ruffles, love how they look, love the feeling of wearing them, absolutely hate having to draw them. <laughs> if you ever see that I make a second outfit and it has ruffles, that was not me. I was kidnapped and replaced by a robotic version of me or something because I swear to god I would not look forward to having to draw, to draw ruffles several times. I did get cold the day after. Yeah, that's what happens when you do irresponsible things like that. That's why you shouldn't do it. Okay, skirt. You know what? We're not gonna do just skirt. We're gonna do all the purples. Cause the bows don't have any sort of like interaction with the skirt at all. We're gonna do purples. And I know the skirt is technically pink, but it's close enough to purple that it might be easy to remember. So we're gonna go in, and we're gonna do these two bows, yeah, these two bows, maybe even this stringy bows, although that is once again very annoying and I'll have to do it by hand. But it, it really seems like there's no interaction, no overlap between this, so it's a good selection. Um, I like the little bow on the cute on the tail, cute, isn't it? I again, I didn't design, uh, I didn't design Mim, so the credit for the design goes to... I don't remember if it was Earth's design, actually. I don't remember her credits. I'm sure they are on her Twitter. Um, but yeah, the design credits definitely don't go to me. I did not design this whatsoever. Uh, I just drew it. This is a very re really cute drawing of Mim, Ellie. Mim, saw some nice work. Thank you so much, Deep. Thank you so much. Uh, I did enjoy it quite a bit, particularly because I I kind of use the streams, the drawing TV streams, to practice and improve on my way of drawing TVs because I personally had a problem with them. So this was kind of like a test. I wanted to test this new style of TV and I'm actually very happy with how it came out. I actually really like the result of it. There we go. Of course, this should be the color of the shirt, actually. Not really, they should be their own color, but I'm unifying colors. I, I, I've decided I'm unifying colors, it's too many colors, and that's kind of like... 
kind of a miss. What are we missing? We're missing the skin. We're missing the white. We're missing... The blues can go with the hoodie, so that's fine. We're missing the skin, the white, the blues of the hoodie. I mean the blues of the boots. And the orange of the ears, which... I might go ahead and add to which layer? The skirt. I'm gonna add it to the skirt because the skirt already has a few... Yeah. The skirt already has a few add-ons, so it's gonna be easier to remember if I add it to the skirt. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna do this one by hand as well. Because it has this jackety. Division. Uh, I was a kid, so it's not that bad. Elias a Terminator. What do you mean, Elias a Terminator? Oh, when I said that I would. That. <laughs> That if I ever did, uh, if, if I ever do a, a second outfit for myself and it has ruffles, it's definitely a Terminator. I was, I was taken out. Just so you guys know, just so you guys know that that would be the case. Max number of ruffles that is acceptable for one of my outfits that I would have to draw over and over again? Three. Three big ruffles. Anything more than that and it's, it's just, it's not me. I was replaced. At least I did it to build an immunity to the cold. It worked, but now I can't feel the cold anymore. Now I'm weak to fire types. Uh, I still wouldn't recommend it. It sounds like you would get sick very easily doing that. Nobody should follow that example. It's dangerous. I think. By the way, you guys, I am getting my booster shot next week. So, be on the lookout for cancellations of streams. I don't want to do it, obviously. I don't like canceling streams. I avoid it as much as it's possible. But I've seen several people plan um, streams after getting a booster shot and then having to cancel them because it, it, it hit them harder than they expected. So, I'm assuming that's a possibility? Since it happened to other people, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm people too. That could happen to me. <laughs> um... Sonsai, hi, how are you doing? Welcome! Not white peach skin? Yeah, but I mean the white of like the eyes and the boots. Like it has, uh... I'm missing the skin and the white as layers. Those are two different layers. Um, how does the skirt have a big ruffle? I mean, like, it, it's three ruffles in total, spanning the entire skirt. That would make it so that each ruffle has to be bigger. And that's... That means drawing a lot less ruffles. <laughs> it's all about how much time they have to spend drawing the ruffles. If it's just, like, three big ruffles, not so long. Um. I hope the side effects won't hit you as hard. Yeah, I mean, I hope so too. But you never know. So just in case, just in case, I am, I'm a, I am, a, um, warning. That's the word I was looking for. Actually, it's supposed to, like, it's supposed to happen on Tuesday, the booster. I was giving Tuesday literally one hour after my normal stream time. But I was like, nah, I'm not gonna go. I'm going to go after and say, you know what, I was working. They, they don't have any way to know that it's not, like, a work that would get me in trouble with the boss if I skipped it. 
they just have to trust me. If I said I was working, they, they just have to say, oh, yeah, well, then you can take it now. At least that's how it's handled around here. If you can't go because of, like, work or, or any other reasons, really. I'm going to detour a little bit because I just noticed that this, that is a speck that's gonna annoy me. I'm also going to de divert a little bit to fix this. It's not visible, but I remember it. And this, look at that. Sneaky little mistakes. Okay, I think that's... for the uh, the division of colors in the ears. We're missing anything that we still have to allocate in this layer. No, let's move on to white and skin. Let's move on to white. Which is going to be the boots. Wow, 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 mistake. I forgot to select the, the freaking lines there. White, what else, what else, what else? Uh, some parts of the bows that I'll do by hand. The fluff, the fluff is white. The teeth are white. That's not gonna work. It's gonna have to be by hand. The cotton in this bows is white. Oh, so many things I'm gonna have to do by hand. And the flowers are kind of white. They can be tinted a little bit later. Okay, I think that's it for the white. Is it for the thing that I have to select? Do by hand. Let's dilate it by two. I almost died. Yeah, it hit you very badly, the booster. My arm felt very tight when I got it, and I was pretty angry for an entire day. I mean, arm arm pain is one of the most basic uh, side effects it can give you. What I'm really hoping is that it won't give me, like, a day or two of fever. Since I am taking it on Wednesday, it I could take one day of fever, no problem, because that would allow me to stream on Thursday. But I'm really hoping it's not gonna mess me up for Thursday. I'm really hoping. Do you mean layers of ruffles? No, I mean ruffle. I mean like, look, this is what I'm. Oh, I'll show you when I finish selecting. I was going to show you, but I, I have everything selected right now. <laughs> So in, in a couple minutes, when I'm done selecting everything, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute. I uh, hope it goes well for you. I'm so sorry, I gotta go soon. Good to see Ali, and again, great job with them. Good luck with the booster shot. Have a great stream, everyone. Thank you for stopping by, Chief. Don't be sorry because you have to go. I'm just glad that you, that you stopped by. Thank you for saying hello and for saying nice things about my drawing. That's, that's what we like here. We're like, we, we like being nice people. We like being kind people. Um, your Pokemon type are fairy dragon. Do you like that? Because you're basically a fairy dragon type. I've been told that I would be fairy poison. I don't even know if poison is a Pokemon type. Because, uh, you know, I do have venom as a snake. Okay, am I forgetting anything? No, it's fine. Well, I could select the teeth since I'm here. Seems I'm here, I could select the T. Okay, there we go. Oh, I have to paint the inside of the mouth. I have to pick a color for that. Uh, white. 11, 100, no, 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 97, that should be fine. So, what you just saw was my reaction to have it pure white. Pure whites are a problem for drawing because if you have pure whites, that means you don't get to add lights to them in any way, shape, or form. So when you paint something white, let's see what, what it color is this white. Okay, so see, this is a 95 in value and a 2 in saturation, which means it's slightly tinted. I actually like this white more than the other white that I selected. Uh, we're gonna make it even a little bit more tinted. We're gonna go to three. 
and leave it at 95. That doesn't look like such a big difference, but it is actually a very big difference. When you have pure white to use as lights, it's very noticeable. What am I forgetting? The eyes. But the eyes are done manually. In this case, I'm gonna take the fill out because it's easier to see what your what shapes I'm getting with the green. That's why I choose a very ugly green for the background. Because it allows me to have good contrast when I'm drawing shapes like this. Um We have a Discord server to discuss off-topic stuff. That is very true. Don't forget that you can join the Discord to have this kind of like off-topic discussions so that we can keep the streams a bit more organized so that everyone can be on the same page. It's Well, it's not so that everyone can be on the same page. It's more so like it doesn't take me 20 minutes to catch up to chat when I fall behind a little bit. I don't know if I want to have white on the side of the eye. I guess... I guess I'll know when the eye is painted. That's gonna allow me to see how I'm feeling about the eye a lot better, the eye shape a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna bring the fill back up. And actually the fill can be the color of the skin. We're gonna, we're gonna change the fill to be the color of the skin because the fill is under anything anyways, uh, it's under everything anyways, which is where I would put the skin layer, normally. You know what, that looks way too yellow. Why does it look that yellow? Why does it look that yellow? It is this color, right? It's this color? It's this color. It looks too yellow. That one might be better? Oh yeah, that's definitely better. It's weird how sometimes uh, you do have to, like, color pick a few times before you get the true shade that you're seeing. In fact, it's still looking too yellow. What I'm gonna do is manually move it a bit more towards the oranges, because I don't, I don't like how it makes it look kind of sickly. I'm gonna give it... The change is very little, it's very subtle. But even though it's very subtle, in the end it actually matters a lot. Believe me, believe me it does. Uh, Fairy Poison, you actually drew yourself as a Pokemon character. I know! Oh no, numbers? You... I'm not scared of these numbers. These numbers are straightforward. It's either more or less, and that is it. No adding, no subtracting, no weird maths. <laughs> okay, let's check what else are we missing. We're missing the inside of the mouse. We're gonna put that on purples. Why? Because it's the layer where I'm throwing all of the things that are added. Do we have a reference? No, we don't. So we're gonna grab this one, we're gonna desaturate it, and we're gonna make it a lot darker and a lot more desaturated. And that way we can keep to sort of like the same color palette. We are at the point of the drawing where we are color picking from our own drawing to reduce the amount of shades that we're using. For example, the tongue. The tongue is going to be this pink. Maybe, maybe a tiny little bit more red. But it's going to be fine. And that is going to be on a last... Our last layer, which is the, the tails layer. That's where I throw everything that didn't have a spot before, like for example the tongue or the bells. Does that look way too pink? It does. It does. It looks way too purple. We're gonna throw it a little bit to the pinks. I mean to the red, a bit more red. To look more natural. And that's already a lot more natural. I would say, personally. Personally, I would say that's a lot more natural. Now we just need the bells, which I haven't color picked before because it's literally just like... I might not end up using these colors. I have my patented 
formula of colors that I lose that I like using for gold in general. So I might end up using that. Um, so you couldn't see a tinted view. What do you mean I couldn't see a tinted view? It's uh it's very subtle. It's not easy to see the difference. But it is there. I promise. I pull romance. Or, since we're drawing a kitty cat, I promise. Hulk meme? <laughs> yeah, that happens quite a bit when I'm drawing. I think we're done with the details layer. That is a very underutilized layer. Probably could have organized things better. But we're gonna deal with it. We're gonna deal with it. We are going to add the blues to the hoodie layer. The light blues to the hoodie layer, of course. And we're color picking from the hoodie itself. Oh, it just dawned on me. I could have done this with the select tool. That would have been a lot easier. Well, it doesn't matter. We're done. And we're gonna do the the other details of the boots, this ones, in the other hoodie layer. Collection, there we go. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna see where my layer organization shines in a minute when I'm doing all the, the shadows and it's easier. It's still way too many layers and it's still kind of like a bad organization. But, you're gonna see why I prefer it. Hoodie inside, we're gonna drop that. Make sure that it's the same color so that we have a reduced palette. There we go! We have everything. Everything except the eyes, which I do separately. Last night I've been thinking about drawing something, but I just don't have the confidence for it. Cookies, remember. The most important thing about oh my god i missed that spot uh the most important thing about getting better at art is understanding and accepting that it's not going to happen overnight it's a path and it takes the time and it takes some time and it takes a lot of effort um but if you just persevere even if you don't feel confident right now maybe you won't like what you do and i understand that because i have a lot of things that i don't like how they come up but, eventually, if you keep practicing, the amount of things that come out in a way you like them is going to be so much bigger than the amount of things you don't like, how they come out. Um, it's not gonna happen overnight, and you're still, you're still gonna have things that you don't like how they come out. But it's going to be a lot easier to find that you like what you did, if you persevere. It's all about perseverance, okay? You have to trust that. Can it also be related to geometry? What do you mean, geometry? What is related to geometry? Ah! Okay, we have the base colors. We have the base colors, right? We're not missing anything. We're not missing anything. One last look at it. Yeah, we're not missing anything. Good. Which means it's time for... Actually, I'm gonna do one little thing more right here I'm going to add this two, two little dots that I didn't realize before on the boots the boots need to have a face with eyes included and that should be for reals the last thing yeah that should be fine so now the reason why I do my layers like this, the reason, the true reason why I do my layers like this is because it allows me to do the following. You see how we have this layer, which is the skin layer, which is also the fill layer? This layer is now going to have one layer, one new layer that I clip to it, and this is going to be the soft shade. We're going to grab this, an airbrush, and just make sure that it has 
just a little bit of um of a gradient that you know it is supposed to be a three-dimensional shape so this goes back to that one shitty exercise not shitty it's not shitty but that one exercise that every beginner artist is tired of seeing which is the ball right if you have this one ball if you have this one like ball it's just a circle right it's, it's annoyingly flat but the moment you add a little bit of shade let's do it a bit stronger so that it's noticeable the moment you add a little bit of shape on the sides it already looks like it has more volume right and this is without even thinking about where the the actual like where the 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 light is coming from and where the shade should hit and whatever just the fact that you add shapes that the, that you add a little bit of a gradient already makes it look like it's more of a shape so that's why i always start with giving like look at well, it's not very visible, but I see it. I notice it. Look, specifically look at this. Look at the legs. Look at the legs with a little bit of gradient versus the legs without a little bit of gradient. See how much of a difference that makes? Measuring distance and radius. I don't... I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like geometry either. I have a drawing in progress now, and I don't think I like anything about it, Lil. But constantly trying to fix stuff on paper is pain. It is. Uh, honestly, improving drawings on paper is very tough. Because you only have a limited amount of things that you can do before the paper itself starts getting damaged. And you can't really keep, um, you know, improving stuff. So, I commend you for drawing on paper. Artists who can draw on paper are, like, superheroes. I don't know where I would be without Ctrl Z, Ctrl V, Ctrl Z. Which one was the Ctrl Z? Y you guys are gonna have to figure that out. Uh, John, hello, welcome, how are you doing? I keep seeing that on every drawing. Yes, of course you do, because it's everywhere. Okay, with that done, that is a soft gradient. And look at, I think that makes a little bit of, uh, like, quite a bit of a difference. Look at it. Look at that versus that. Look at that versus that. Like, is it super noticeable? No, of course not. But the idea is that it isn't. It shouldn't be noticeable. In fact, I'm gonna erase it a little bit here because it's too noticeable. The idea is that it's only there for effect, not to be noticed. What we do want to be noticed is the next layer, which is the hard layer, which sometimes I do with a softer edge and sometimes I do with a stronger edge. So we're gonna see how I'm feeling today. Right now I'm gonna try a softer edge, like a, like a, like a brush. I'm also not super liking this is the color that we picked. This is the color that we picked. However, I'm not super liking it. It's a bit too cold in my opinion. So I'm going to once again tweak it. I'm going to saturate it. That's better. That's better. That's better. That's much better. So, let's update our personally made palette, shall we? This is the color of the skin now. And this... Oh, I just lost it. I just lost it! I just lost the color I just made! Ah! It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna saturate it. I'm gonna make it redder. I'm gonna make it lighter but more saturated i'm gonna try it again 
Yeah, that's cute. Maybe a little bit more saturated. That's cute. I'm gonna use this. And it doesn't look that different. I know that it doesn't. Look, it is. See, this one is 997, 18,997, and this one is 76,498. They are so different. Look at, look at how. Okay, so mine. If you were to saturate it, you get orange. This one, if you were to saturate it, you get neon lime green. This one, if you were to saturate it, you get red. This one, if you were to saturate it, you also get red. But for some reason, this one is working better. Don't question it. We're not gonna question it. We're not gonna think about it. We're just going to do. Now, a better artist would have be begun this entire shading process with, you need to define where the light is coming from, right? Like a better artist would have been like, oh, and now we're gonna choose where the light is coming from. In my case, uh, sometimes I just let that happen. Sometimes I'm just not sure when I begin and as I color more stuff, I realize, oh, I think I want the shadows to be on this side or whatever, like for example, right now, I think I'm leaning towards the light being on this side. It's working for me. It's working, that's, that's what matters. And the soft, the soft brush is also working for me. Um, what about digital artists? They too are heroes. Yeah, I know. Digital art is still hard. It's still not like, oh, you just press a button, boop, and it's done. Like, a lot of people think digital art is like cheating somehow, only because there are some things that make it easier, like Ctrl-Z and Ctrl-Z and Ctrl-V and like symmetry tools. Doesn't mean that the work is done automatically. You guys saw that. You probably have lived that. You, you're probably aware of it in a very personal manner. Um, me just trying to draw and now I gotta learn geometry too? <laughs> I am not going to learn geometry. Good attempt, Sonzai, but I'm not going to learn geometry. That is not a bottle that you can win. Okay, so here's another interesting thing. Um, when you're drawing anime, when you're seeing anime drawings, they tend to have this, uh, this like direct shadow of hair on the head. Now, if you pay attention to what I just said about light being, let's say, I don't know, here, these shadows wouldn't make sense. This ones. They should not make sense. And maybe I'll delete them later. But normally, I try to play around with it and see if I can make it work. Also, tip number two, I erase the... I, I kind of like do them a bit more gradient-like. I do them in a very solid way and then I slightly erase the tips. So that it blends a little bit better. I may end up deleting all of this anyways, because since it is a chibi, you can get away with having a lot less detail. But for now we are for now we're doing it. For now we're doing it and we're seeing how how that ends up looking. We're gonna see. We're gonna hope for now. 
and we're gonna see what happens later. Because it's a chibi, I might be able to not have, like, any shadows there. Um... I mean, seriously, how are you or are they gonna 3D modeling? I do want to 3D model as well. I have some experience sculpting in Blender. Uh, but I just don't think my computer could handle Blender and... Streaming at the same time. I don't think that would end up well. Don't think that would have very good results. We also need to add a little bit of shade here on the nose, because I like it normally. We could also... Oh, definitely on the neck. Definitely on the neck. And let's do this one's a little bit stronger. This. All right. It's looking good. It's looking good. How do you feel about AI art character generators? Um. Hmm. All right. I just got back. Had to move to another class. Hi, Cookie is welcome. Um. Please, I don't cheat. Yeah, I don't. I'm not saying it is cheating. I'm saying some people talk about it like that. Since I will be back from a meeting call to tell you this, uh, I was a cartoonist and a mangaist. Wow, that is incredible. That is impressive. Um, how do I feel about AR art and character generators? I, I am aware of how great an invention are. I am aware of how. The technology behind it is amazing and everything. But I honestly hate them with a passion. And here is why. Once you input that piece of art into a generator and it spits out something new. First of all, the artist didn't consent to having their piece of art modified. Second of all, the artist will 95% of the time not get credit even though their art is the entire base of that new thing existing. Third of all, uh, sometimes people will use it to pass it off as their own art and because the image is sufficiently different, it might not get picked up by like art theft algorithms and the, the artist will never know that their art was not just tinkered with but also stolen for somebody else's profit i just really don't like it because we put a lot of effort and love into our art and then and then things like that make it a lot easy easier to like completely not care about art like NFTs? I don't think they mean NFTs, but if they mean NFTs, that's even worse. <laughs> Alright, so... With that, I'm gonna leave the skin for now, although we are still missing the lights. Should I do the lights to show you the entire process? I'm gonna do the lights to show you the entire process. So we have soft, hard, you, we're, we're, we're seeing the layers right here, right guys? You guys are seeing the layers, I'm showing you the layers. We have the soft shadow, the heart shadow, and I'm gonna go for lights. In lights, I'm gonna do, since this is our base, and it's already pretty, it's already pretty light, it's a 97, so we're gonna take it to 100. We're gonna take this to five instead of four to have a little bit of a contrast. The light is another aspect where you have to be like very subtle. It's more about the impact that it has over the piece itself than it is about seeing the lights. 
mm, for example here we could do this side a bit lighter because it is aiming towards the light and it doesn't look like much I know that it doesn't look like much but then if you but then if you hide the layer and you turn it on again maybe you can see it I can maybe you can see it I can but maybe you can't but I can also we're gonna do this with pure white because I really like doing it like a little a little shine there for the shape of the nose then I use the brush so that it has a a softer edge There. Um, on the internet, nothing is really yours. Well, in, on the internet, people will steal your stuff regardless of what they should do. But it doesn't mean that we have to like it, and it doesn't mean that we have to make it easier. That's that's the thing. Uh, also, I might have to miss out tomorrow because of a test we are taking in geography. Okay, very good luck on your test. I hope it goes great. I hope you get a good uh, a good result. What do I want to do now? Blush. The skin has an extra layer that the rest of the other layers won't have, which is the blush. And of course for the blush we're going to go with a quite red color. And we're gonna do just a couple of touches right under the eyes, like this. I think I'm gonna delete the the shadows of the hair. I think I'm not super, super happy with them. I think it might look better to just leave the ones up top. Because the blush is doing quite a bit of work for this to look nice. Now I'm gonna delete a couple of spaces from the blush so that it looks shiny. This is dangerous. Doing it like this is kind of dangerous because that means that if you don't like it after a while and you wanna do it, you have to redo the entire blush. But it's fine. I don't think it's too much of a problem. I'm gonna add a little bit of blush here on the middle of the on the middle of the nose area. I just think it makes it look cute. And it's just subtle, so it's just like a subtle little touch. And that should be it for the skin. That really should be it for the skin. Now for the hair, I do it a little bit differently. For the hair, I normally start with the hard and see if I want to add any soft shades later. That was very cool. Thank you. Um, isn't blush flat? I thought it removes the shine. Um... The blush, I do it this way and I've seen it done this way, it's, oh shit, I deleted the entire, I deleted the entire shadows of the neck, we're gonna have to do them again, which is fine because we have our color right here. Um, I personally like doing it. Uh, over the nose. I just think it gives it a really cute little touch. I like how it looks.
I feel like the other shadow that I had done was better, but it's too late now. It's too late now. We have to do it again because we forgot. Because we were clumsy with our erasing. So now I have to do it again. should be fine that should be fine I mean the in real life makeup um, definitely doesn't have any shine the in real life makeup doesn't have any shine unless you have a blush that also serves as uh, ooh, what was the name of this thing again in English I don't know, in Spanish we call it illuminator, kind of, like, I, I don't think that's how they call it in English. <laughs> um, unless you're grabbing a blush that also serves like a double function of being an illuminator, which is not a word, I'm very sorry, I'm trying to think of what it actually was called in English, but... <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, with the, with the hair? First of all, with the hair, I'm not... I'm not an authority on painting hair. I don't actually like how I personally paint hair. I don't feel comfortable with it. Um, I want to learn a better technique because it makes me struggle way too much every single time. However, since this is... You know, I said that I was gonna do all of the coloring. I'm gonna have to show you how I do it which is I normally start with the hard shadows and I try to make sure that I have a lot of like hair divisions done with the shadow itself instead of like like we may not have divisions through the lines of the drawing but we can have like this would very clearly be one and this would very clearly be other right like here so I try to make sure that that comes across without actually having these lines. Um, and I sometimes go for a solid brush instead of a soft brush so that I don't have any like parts that are less colored than others. But I don't know. We're we're rolling with it right now. I actually have to go because we're about to do a Jeopardy game and I still need to participate. Thank you for letting me snuggle in your tail. Thank you. Good luck in Jeopardy cookies. Blush can be flat or simple designs on more detailed faces. Blush works better if it looks faded. Um, yes. I've seen people, again, in real life, I've seen people doing blush on their noses, on their chins, on like... Blush is just like this thing to make sure that you didn't cover... Okay, so when you put your foundation on, you're kind of covering your veins, which doesn't look that... it doesn't sound that important, but it ends up making you look like a lot paler than you should, because you're not seeing the red undertones of the of the veins running under your skin. So when you add the blush, you kind of give yourself back that like feeling of the of the blood rushing through your veins. Okay, now we're going to do this. We're going to try and define some like, if this was one chunk and this was another, that means that here we could have a division. And we're gonna make that... a bit harsher... shadow-wise. 
Same as up here. We're gonna bring this a little bit to the dark. Although it's occurring to me that I shouldn't be doing this kind of involved coloring on a chibi. It should probably be flatter. But again, we're gonna figure it out later. We're gonna figure it out later. I should also probably be using... Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna switch. I mean the in real life makeup. Yeah, I've s definitely blush doesn't have like it's supposed to be flat. It's not supposed to be shiny, unless you're getting a blush that is also like it has that thing, that shiny illuminator thing. I don't remember the name of it right now. Um, we're gonna switch to a hard brush, and most importantly, we're gonna switch to this having less contrast with the base. We're gonna start moving it there, a little bit closer. And we're gonna do a flatter style of coloring because it is a chibi, so it might be able to take it. So once I'm gonna once again I'm gonna do this. And define the chunks. Uh, we're gonna do this as it was. Except it wasn't that big, it was more like this. Yeah, but I'm feeling I'm feeling more like a like a solid brush right now. Have some talent. I do. Thank you. Highlight. Oh, highlight! Yes, that is how you call the shiny makeup in English. Thank you. I completely forgot about the existence of that word for a minute, <laughs> which is weird because I'm about to start saying it for some of the layers that we're going to be using on this drawing. We're definitely going to be talking about highlights soon. Uh-huh. Now, the equivalent to me drawing ruffles is definitely the uh, me painting hair. I struggle very much with painting hair. But it should be fine. Should be fine because it is a chibi, so it can be less detailed. It can be more general. It's gonna look better when I add the soft uh, shading in, aka the gradients. Um, okay. Actually, let's add this, even though it doesn't make much sense. Because it always kind of adds a little bit. Also, this one is chunky enough that it should have a division in the middle. Again, this is... I'm not an authority on how to paint hair. I personally don't like how my hair painting technique has evolved. I really want to learn how to do it better, but for right now, this is what we're working with. Uh, at some point, when I have a bit more time, and don't worry, I am working towards having more time. I said it yesterday on Discord, um, I am working on thumbnails for games that I know that I will play at some point, but I'm not sure when. So that when that happens, um, I can like relax with that and start doing other things, like to do to do things that I have planned, but I I can't prioritize because oh I have to prepare the thumbnail and everything. But if I have them 
prepare from way before, I'll be able to have some time. And that's what I'm working on right now. I'm working on making sure that I have thumbnails. We are going to give this quite a bit of shade. Like so. Um, and this should definitely, like, cast some sort of shade. This peak right here. Highlights! My third greatest weakness, right behind chest and hands. Really? Huh. Chest and hands. Are we talking about drawing stuff? Or are we talking about when a woman wears highlight in, their, in her face that you lose it? But you also like watching women's hands. I, I'm confused. Are we talking about in real life or are we talking about drawing? This is this is a good this is a good game to play though. Uh, are we talking about actual uh, like women or are we talking about art? Am I humiliating myself by assuming wrong? Who knows? Interesting. Gotta go. Nice meeting you, Sunset. Checking out. Goodbye, Sunset. I'm back. Had to make double baked potatoes for the family. Ooh, that sounds good. Double baked potatoes. That sounds yummy. I can't tell when's the last time I tried to bake a potato. I mean, I guess... I, I, I guess it hasn't been that long if you consider when you cut it and you just put a bunch of, like, slits of tomato, of potato in an, an oven shit. Uh, that, that I've done fairly recently. But, uh, you know, the actual, like, baking an entire potato? I don't know if I've ever done that, actually. Do I like that? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. So for now, I'm just gonna keep going at this once. I'm just gonna keep going at this. Um, by now, you have probably gathered, even though I haven't been saying it very effectively, that I start with whatever lines I've already done. Because, I mean, that is supposedly where the hair chunks divide. And I kind of, like, go from there. Trying to figure out exactly how the chunks of hair divide and how I should be showing them. I try to make sure that it's a, a good combination of pointy ends, pointy lines. But also when the when the chunk starts showing supposedly from the light, try to make sure that it is roundish. I might want to delete this line a little bit to aim it better. Um. And it, it really is not refined, my technique for the hair. It really is not defined. <laughs> I have to do I have to do a course or two. I have to do like an actual like good sets of practices with artists that I admire. Um Clever, welcome back, Alec. Back from eating. Why do I keep getting on timeout? Oh, yeah, because uh, we're trying to keep things on topic, probably. Now, this is causing a problem that I didn't want to have to deal with, but I guess I have to. This... Hmm. Okay. By making this give a little bit of shadow, it's closing in too much to this, and it's kind of like mixing together, eh, which might not look too bad with that, but I think it does make it look a little bit rough in comparison to the other areas. 
So I think we're gonna have to scrap, either scrap it or make it way more open. And making this way shorter so that they don't have that much overlap. And then this up top is also bothering me because it's too much Oh, no, 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 wait. If the light is coming from here, then maybe in this one I can do... Let's try this. I don't think it will work well. I don't think it will work well. But I think maybe we start adding more shadows Here and make this part actually the the lit one. This part the lit one, and then this part not lit. So let's see. Let's see if we can do something like this. I've never actually done this successfully without it looking bad, in my opinion. But we can always try. We can always try. Potato so yummy. Double bake is you bake a whole potato, take it out, cut it in half, then scoop the meat out, mash it, then put it back in the skin, sprinkle cheese and bake it again. That sounds delightful. Oh, that sounds so good. I really need to try that out. But not right now, because right now it's summer, and uh, although it sounds delightful, it also sounds like a very heavy meal that po possibly wouldn't uh, work well with the temperatures that we have. Although, thankfully, the heat wave is over, you guys. It rained. It rained, so no more heat wave. I'm actually very happy about it. Yeah, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. We are, we are pulling out from here and coming back to it when we have an idea of what to do. <laughs> Which is a cowardly thing, but you know, we need to tackle it when we tackle it. We'll tackle it when we can. We can fix it later. We can fix it later. You know, it's been a while since I've said that. We can fix it later. I still believe in that as my rallying cry for art. We can fix it later. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm struggling quite a bit, huh? Might have to give up on this. Might have to give up on this thingy here. And figure out something else to do with that area. Remember when I said let's I'll fix it later, like two seconds ago? Funny, isn't it? How I can't even keep that consistency for two seconds. <laughs> I'm just too obsessive. I need to fix it now. Like I can't just fix it later. I need to fix it right now. That's that's better. That's better. I, I'll actually minimize the shades and and see what we do with that. Um, potatoes are really good, but I love them nice and hot. Yeah, which is not good for summer. Your art is going amazing! Alex, it sounds amazing. It sounds good, doesn't it? It sounds really tasty. Sounds really tasty. But again, I will have to wait until it's a bit colder outside to try it. Because right now we would probably be kind of murder on... Like... It doesn't feel good to eat hot meals, like hot heavy meals when it's hot outside. It is kind of nice right now because it rained. It is kind of like... Chill. But chill in a good way. We're gonna add shadows for this things, for the hair accessories. And... Oh gosh. 
Finally. Finally done with the top of the hair, I think. I think we might be done with the bangs. Which I know, I know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it is for me. <laughs> it is for me. It takes me quite a bit to finish the hair, so this is a, this is a success. This is such a success. One time. Oh, we're not doing that great. It's fine. It's fine. Come now, welcome. Hi, how are you doing? Mimart looks great so far. It is Mimart. Um, meanwhile, I, it's been snowing here basically a whole day. I hope you enjoy the snow. Uh, have you gone out and done a, a snowman yourself, Ritech? I, I, we've had, uh, we've had one snowman posted on Discord so far. Wondering if at any point he's gonna get a friend with, with so many, so many of you guys who are living in snowy areas. We are going to add this big projected shadow in here. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. We're gonna grab this one, we're gonna paint the bottom of it, and we're gonna do a chunk here. Like, like that's where it comes from. We're gonna do... Throw it a little bit back. So that it looks like it's more chunks. We're gonna do more projected shadows for this, for the ears. We're gonna do... what else are we gonna do? To do the hair as quickly as possible. What else are we gonna do to do the hair as quickly as possible? Let's figure it out together! Yay! If I had sound effects, I would throw the, uh, the, the typical, you know, like, Yay! Kids jumping up and throwing confetti kind of sound effect. Maybe that should be much bigger. That should be much bigger. That should be... More like here-ish. I didn't feel like doing the outline again, so I just moved it and I'm gonna fill it up <laughs> from the inside, which doesn't matter quite a bit, quite as much. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine so far. We're gonna do, we need to do another chunk division kind of thing here. If this was one of the chunks, which it is, then we would need another chunk like here-ish. It needs to look natural, which is obviously very hard to do because hair hair is such a particular creature. Um it's been cold and sunny here, my favorite weather. Well, if it's cold and sunny, at least the cold doesn't hit as much. Because you do have, like, you can stay in the sun, face the sun and get a little bit of warmth from it. That is nice. Uh, personally, I don't do well with cold uh, at any point, in any way. But I understand that some people prefer it because, like, I get the concept of if it's cold you can just put more clothes on if it's warm you can't take your skin off so you know cold is better i know i heard it a million times i've heard it before i don't agree with it because no matter how many clothes you put on there are parts of your body that have to be exposed no matter what like for example your eyes or you know your mouth or your nose. Like, you can't fully cover yourself from the cold. Ever. And those those parts just freeze and don't look don't don't feel nice at all. Okay.
Okay. Now that we've done that, and we're gonna thicken this out a little bit because it's looking kind of clinky. Oh guys, the rest of the the rest of the things are gonna be so much easier than this, believe me. The hair is like the the, the one of the most complicated parts. Okay, we're gonna start with this part, because it's the easier part. Damn it. Come on, man, work with me. <laughs> Blames the drawing. Um same Alicia, I forgot something, I think. Anyways. No, I didn't. Wouldn't be surprised if the snow was gone by tomorrow. Weather is really unstable. It is? Well, but that would mean that, I mean, if the snow is bothering you, then it may be gone tomorrow, which would be good. This is... Why am I struggling so much with this specific little thread of air? I shouldn't be struggling that much with that specific thread of air. I'm gonna switch to this one and see what happens. Here I am wishing it would not it would snow. I mean, I would wish that it would snow, but I know better than to wishing that it would snow in a city where it, it has snowed once every like 80 years. I I know I know how to be less foolish with my wishes. <laughs> no point in wishing something that you know can't be true. I think you'd be doing just finally see your durable little gate. Uh, yeah, would make the bestest arc war boss ever. Arc is in the game, cause I I I have I have been reading your message like weirdly because I think a lot of those might be typos and I've been trying to like correct a little bit, unless they aren't and I'm just not understanding because it's a reference to something I don't know. I was hoping this part of the hair was gonna be easier than it actually is. Hold on. Hold the, the phone. That might be fine. Okay. And that means... That means... If we do this... Do this. Is this a chibi? Remember, this is a chibi. Remember that you have to do it kind of like simplified. Um, we need to show th some shadow here. go that's gonna be better I think I think that might end up looking better because it follows the flow of the shape. Um, you're going to put violet purple in the white, purple in the ears? It doesn't seem to have violet purple in the design. I think it's just white. Um, I think it's just white. I don't have to check the the actual model, 
But uh, for this reference that I'm seeing right here, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Warhammer 40 orcs. Oh, I don't know Warfarm Warhammer 40. That's why I didn't recognize it. Um, 20 minutes? Oof, we're gonna be tight. We're gonna be tight. But it might be fine. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Now we figure that out. This should be a little bit easier. I mean, the hair truly is the hardest bit for me. You'll see how quickly I do the ruffles. One thing is, one thing is drawing ruffles, and another thing is shading ruffles. Shading ruffles is so much easier. I really don't want to stretch it to another stream. That's the thing. I want to finish it. I want to finish it right now. I should do something like this. Where, once again, I would be missing... Hmm. finish the hair off stream if I'm never satisfied with it. <laughs> ah! Missing the white stripes from the bows. Yes, of course. Uh, Ellie has a lot of progress today. Suvo is a stupid girl. Listen. Listen. That's not the end of the progress. Listen, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna move away from the hair for a minute. Try to do a lot of progress on other stuff. We have this with a hoodie, which is this color. No, it's our updated color. It's that color. And we have this, which is this. So this is a shadow color. We're gonna do, again, make the shape a bit more three-dimensional by just adding soft shade on the edges of anything that would be like lifting up. Or a cylinder, just like that. Then we're going to add the hard shadows with a little bit more saturation and the soft wash. And the hard shadows are gonna be here, here, because this is projecting from the arm. Here because this is hidden because like again it's a three-dimensional shape and the light is coming from above we're gonna make sure that this has like a round shape so that the the jacket reads as fluffy and poofy we of course have to add some here for the projected shadow of the bow We have to add some here for the projected shadow of the hoodie and the bow. And we're gonna add some here because it's the underside of the arm. And we're gonna add some for the projected shadow of the hair right here. And see how much faster it is when you're not struggling with the hair? When you're not struggling with the hair, it's actually quite easy. Like, the hair I might finish off stream because it is just a lot of trial and error. It's literally just trial and error, guys. Like, it takes me an age and a half because I'm not sure what I'm doing. 
and once I once I try something and I'm like, okay, that could work, that's when I start figuring it out. I should have done the hair, I should have left the hair to be the last thing from the very beginning. <laughs> Cause that's kind of cute. Okay, soften, soften, soften a little bit. That's kind of cute. Now I'm gonna do the lights on this one. And the lights are just gonna be like a lighter. I don't think I had lights on the palette, which is fine. Oh, wow. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. Yeah, lights right here. Just soft, soft little lights. Where the light is directly, directly pointing. And when there's like a little bit more three-dimensionality, like here, here. Um, you made a lot of progress. At this rate, you'll have it done in two more streams. <laughs> ah! <laughs> um. Ruffles are easy to shade because you can see where you have the shadow things easily, but drawing them, oh boy, exactly. That was weird because my iPad was acting like the stream was over. At least the stream is almost over. I need to get going. Okay, bye bye. Goodbye, Thalok. Um, shots fired. That's not true, though. I'm so close, you guys. I'm so close. Um, of course, on this, I also have. I also have this to contend with, but that is very easy. You would just give it three-dimensionality and we kind of forget about it. <laughs> now I'm gonna do the inside of the hoodie rather quickly, because this one doesn't even need soft shading. The thing with the inside is that it's literally just hidden, so it should barely have any, like, shadow play. It should be mostly, I mean, it should be mostly shadow, period. I forgot the light was coming from that side. So, it's rather easy in that sense. Now let's do some lights on a different layer. Boop, boop. Lights. Just a tiny little bit on the sides that the light hits to give it three-dimensionality. Maybe even a little bit of, a, of an edge if I'm feeling fancy, but not really. Um, the shirt, we have the shape right there. And the thing with boobas is clearly the top is going to get a lot more light than the bottom because you know three-dimensional shapes but by the time you go down to the stomach the light is seeping up a little bit more so I like doing like a soft gradient under the booba Yeah. For the tail, we're gonna have soft. We're gonna have the three-dimensional, like, edges. And we are gonna have to go in with a hard pen. For... And I'm gonna have to saturate it a little bit more. There we go. We are going to go in for this kind of 
hard edges. And also, for giving it a little bit of fluff. Just a little bit of like... Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to do one more stream of this. Because it is like seven minutes until the two hours hit. And we aren't close enough. As close as I wish it was. Granted, I don't think it's gonna last us one more stream. But I could show you... Yeah, I need to show you ice and gold, which is gonna take quite a bit. And it would allow me to also chill down and figure out the hair, including these fluffy parts that I was intending to doing, to do, intending to do. Because it is fur, so I think it definitely should have some Thing that defines, that makes it look like it's hair, not just a tube. Uh, give it dimensionality, then forget about it? Did I say then forget about it? Because I didn't mean to- oh, I meant the boots, yeah. I'll forget about it, because I mean, the boots... The boots are not even not the focus, nor something that has a lot of like shadow play to it. Like there isn't much going on with feet. <laughs> and that's not just because I don't have feet. Um Board clips, welcome! Hi, how are you doing? Uh, Ellie, it's just a simplified TV. Also, Ellie, draws it almost photorealistically. <laughs> I never learned how to chill, okay? I never learned how to actually chill and not worry about, about it too much. It's a pain, but it, it's... Well, technically, it's what I was training. I was supposedly doing this chibis to train that kind of stuff. Doesn't seem like it helped me too much, but I could try again. I sh I could make the attempt. Let's do the ruffles at least before I go. Before I go, I, I have to admit that I'm not going to make it. Right? I, I definitely have to admit that I'm not going to make it. However... If I just do the ruffles, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it looks pretty much completed. Oh, and we have to do a little paw prints in here. Or we could ignore that because since it is a chibi, it's supposed to have less detail. So maybe I shouldn't. Because that would make it a lot more detail than it should be for a chibi. But with ruffles, the thing is that, first of all, you're gonna have, all of this is gonna have a shade because of the first layer, right? All of this is gonna be... All of this is gonna have, like, shadows that come from the fabric above. And same thing for the, for the last layer, right? So first of all, we got that. Second of all, every time the, the ruffle goes down... Like, on the parts where it's... It very, it's very easy to see what is up and what is down on the ruffles. So it's very easy to see where the light would be hitting more and where the light would be hitting less. It's very easy to see, for example, that that is hidden, but that this is... The center is the highest point, but this is hidden again until this, which is lifted, this is hidden. It's very clear. Like, you don't even have to think about it too hard. You just paint away when it comes to ruffles. I really do have to study other people to see how they do it in a more simple way. Because I would love to get me some of that. 
I would have to study other styles to see how they manage the lack of details and the lack of like painted details. How 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 can someone be okay with it and make it look good anyways? I would really like to know that. I would really like to study that kind of stuff. Uh, which isn't hard. I mean, studying art another artist is just like trying to figure out how like trying to dissect what you see into reproducing a similar product. Like maybe you won't end up figuring out exactly their technique, but you can figure out something that's close enough that it helps you. Let's saturate a bit more to do this. Little holes here. Not holes, but like the inside. So that it's stronger and it looks more like the inside. Of course the ruffles will look better with the light as well. The light layer. Lights layer. Yes, this would have been a lot easier if I hadn't done it with realistic shading. Ah, <laughs> uh, new here. I like your art and I'm subbing. Thank you, board clips. Thank you. Hi, I hope you enjoy it here. Uh, Discord drawing stream would be cool. Uh, I don't know if I would do that. I don't know if I would do that. It would put a lot of pressure. It would put a lot of pressure. Um... What are you streaming again? I am streaming tomorrow at, uh, I think, 2 p.m. EST, I think. And I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Friday at the same time. My schedule is up on my Twitter if you want to check that out. And don't, I don't always do art. I also do games. In fact, tomorrow we're going to be doing Shante. Uh, we're very close to finishing that one. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy your time here. I I hope you enjoy your time here. Let's do a little bit of lights and then I'll go. We're gonna need another layer. Lights. And then, of course, we lighten it up and desaturate it. Actually, let me try this. Let me try using this color. Will it work? It kind of does. And as I said before, if you can limit the palette a little bit, if you can just color pick from other parts, it's it's better. So we're gonna do a little bit, like very subtle, lighting the parts that are higher. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Okay, I'll fix it in a second. I'll fix it in a sec. First of all, I'm gonna put the light under the dark in this case, so that I don't have to worry about the inside of the fabric. Second of all, I'm gonna... do... just the parts that are higher up, like this, and this, and this, and the center here. And what I just noticed... Is that actually... There we go. Is that actually here, there should be occlusion from the... Um, from the jacket. So this actually should be a bit more covered by shadows, just like that. Okay, there we go. There we go! Now it has volume. I made the, uh... Oh wow, what happened to my face? <laughs> Supernova, welcome! Hi, how are you doing? I just came here. Um, We are very close to finishing the stream. I'm very, very sorry that you came close to the end, but... 
we are going to wrap up with a little bit of chatting, just a little bit, so at least you can enjoy that. Um, how would that put more pressure on you than this? The fact that there's no time limit, maybe? Or the fact that anyone could join and start chatting and... Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's the same to think that anyone can start chatting here through text, right? But... I don't, I don't know. Something about it makes me more intimidated. Something about it make me mo makes me more intimidated. And also, I'm very rarely doing stuff that I would be okay with showing before it's done. Oh no! Yeah, silly. That's the reason it's intimidating. Because uh, I feel comfortable with chibis, I feel comfortable drawing chibis, enough that like I can show it, but most of the time when I'm drawing, I'm drawing uh, thumbnails and stuff, and that takes me a lot more trial and error, and it's a lot more intimidating for me, because, well, it's more complicated, I feel less comfortable with it. Okay, and this is where we're at! I might end up changing a couple of things, but we're gonna have one more stream to do it. So, how long did it take you to learn all this? I've been self-studying drawing since I have memory. I was one of those kids in school who would literally never stop drawing in class. Um, and I did take a couple of actual courses on like character design and stuff like that. But it's mostly just practicing. It's mostly, it's mostly just practicing. Um, on your own and persevering uh, so I don't know a lot of years <laughs> a lot of years I couldn't tell you because like I've been drawing since I'm just a little bit a little child a little child okay I would like to god I really would like to close the stream with like a full drawing and be like hey this is what we did but no, I guess no. <laughs> I guess we can't. Damn it. Well, okay. Well, no, okay. Let's go chat now. <laughs> this is where we're at today. This is where we're at right now. How are, how are we feeling about it? How is it? How is it looking? How are we feeling about it? <laughs> Let's go wrap up. With a little bit of a bitch hat. And that will be it for this instance of I thought I was finishing the drawing, but apparently I wasn't because it took me a lot longer than I expected. Which is fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um but yeah, it's going it's good. It's much better than I can draw. Oh well it's it's a lot of years of practice as I said before. I just was really hoping that I was gonna get it done quickly and it didn't happen. So very good. Got down the shading out so much detail. It does. It really does. And wait until you see like the difference painted lines can make. Actually maybe I should have started with that. I've seen a lot of people who paint their lines before shading. And I thought to myself that I was gonna try that for once because I normally paint the lines at the very end. I remember, I was like, oh my god, that, that is interesting. I should see if that helps me or not. Because one, one of the things about drawing, one of the interesting things about drawing and art is that you will never know what helps you more until you try it personally. Because like some people can have techniques that work very well for them and it's like, oh yeah, this is the easiest way to do it. But then your brain doesn't process it the same way and you're like, what do you mean that's the easiest way? That is insanely hard for me. What are you talking about? Um, so it really is about how your brain process, processes the world, you know? The longer the more quality. Yes, the longer the more quality. I just... I just really want to be done with some of this, some of these TVs already to be able to give them out to the people that I was gonna give them out. Like for Lottie's, I thought I was gonna give it to her for her birthday and that didn't happen. And then I thought like, well, maybe I can finish it for Christmas and that didn't happen. <laughs> and Lottie's is still there and I'm, 
every now and then I have some time to work on it and I work on it a little bit but I'm still not there and I still haven't been able to give it to her so and now with Vince I really want to be able to give it to her <laughs> and that's that, the truth is that I want this to be done because they're, they're also they have orders waiting for them some some of them don't even know probably have forgotten already some of them uh, I mean nobody ever asked for this I decided to do this but still I really would I really would like to give them out there's always Christmas of this year <laughs> no I'll finish it way before then <laughs> there's no need to rush I know there isn't I know there isn't I just really want to give them out already and also because like it's, it's more unfinished projects to add to the list. And I have so many things I want to do. So the sooner I finish one project, the sooner I can start the next one. And I, I'm excited. I'm excited for some of the things I want to do. Uh, play the long game. Keep it until she forgets and gift it then. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine if I just held it for like three years and I was like, oh, hey, here, have this. I, I bet you forgot all about it. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I, I can never do that. Plus, by the time, like, by the time people forget, my art style would have improved so much. Probably. Um, it was a nice session. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you for being here. Uh, we still need Discord emotes. For example, that. Uh, actually, I didn't say anything because, like, what's the point of saying I started a project before you even have the time to finish it? But I did start on emotes. I started researching, organizing some references, and defining what like ideas I have. I haven't sketched a single one, but I have made folders for all of the ideas I have. Uh, organize them with like titles, uh, so that once I start drawing them, I don't get confused with what is what or what what direction I wanted to go with. Uh, with each one of them, so I have I have started on the emotes thing, but I don't Have a lot of time to work on it. So it's just here and there, you know, it's here and there Emotes? Hmm. Yes, emotes eventually eventually don't think it's gonna come soon. Don't think it's gonna come soon <laughs> But eventually Nice Kubi. I, I really hope I can make it soon, but you know uh, Don't 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 trust it D don't trust that it's gonna happen quickly. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Tablet. Tablet. Just behave. Thank you. <laughs> all right. That is going to be all for today. But I'm going to be seeing. Uh, I'm gonna be seeing you guys tomorrow for more Shante. Hopefully this time without the internet getting cut off. <laughs> We have to go see Zombie Girl, and we have to go figure out what to do with the soul that we got. So that's interesting. Thank you all for being here. Um, I think I'm going to just go ahead and do my outro now. See you tomorrow, Master. Master. Oh boy, that's the first time I'm being called Master. I I'm not a, I'm not a threat to humans. I promise. I promise I'm not a threat to humans. I'm just I'm just your your friendly neighborhood Lamia. I'm not here to conquer humanity. <laughs> uh, thanks for the good stream, Ellie. Be well. Thanks for the stream, Ellie. Thank you guys for coming and spending time with me. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day or night or evening or whatever time it is. Don't forget to drink water and stretch. Eat well. Sleep seven to nine hours. And most importantly, be kind to yourself and others, okay? Take care, my snake shifters! Goodbye! Bye-bye! <laughs>